Hi, thanks Fo, so much for watching everyone. My name is Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today, remember when I used to have a rumble channel and it was called Psychic Bananas? Well, guess what? I'm going to start doing it on YouTube because I'm getting told psychically that we need to now stand up as warriors and know what's going on. So once a week, I'm going to do a Psychic Banana update psychic bananas it's all the stuff in the world making us go crazy making us go bananas psychic bananas so it's going to be my psychic take on all this stuff whether it's good or bad and how long i've known about it before i've started talking about it so if you do like this video today please press the like button so i know to keep doing this okay comment below if you think this is a good idea because me personally, I've got to start getting the word out. So on that, today I'm going to talk about digital ID. Our digital ID, the bill passed about three weeks ago. So here we go. We've got some evidence here of what is coming. So let me just show you this, guys. Okay. Um, not that one. I want to go over to this one. Supermarket giants across the UK could soon ask shoppers to ditch cash and card payments and instead use their face or fingerprints at the checkout. Now, if they're using fingerprints at the checkout, which I've got proof I'm going to show you in a minute, this means that we all get a chip in our palms. Do we seriously want this? I personally, in my personal opinion, I don't want this at all. Imagine the case scenario, I walk into the shops and everything I walk out with, it all goes onto my, my account. If they're doing facial recognition as I walk out of the shops with my groceries, what about anybody else walking out at the same time? I could get easily get charged for all their stuff as well. How do I dispute it? As I said before about Sequest DSV, how do I dispute these transactions and get a refund or et cetera, or even change products. You know, you buy clothes that don't fit. So how does this happen if there's no receipts because it's instant taking it off your fingerprint ID? Okay, MasterCard is already trialing a biometric payment system that could see shoppers just use their face. Now, I'm going to go there. One of my... Things that I was telling people three years ago, I was telling people, do not wear masks. And I'll tell you why I was saying that. Because my psychic abilities were telling me, whether it's true or not, okay, because this isn't, I'm not telling you what's true today, right? It's only an assumption. But my psychic abilities were telling me four years ago, do not wear masks because that was them setting up What's coming now with what we've seen on the on the screen, whereby facial recognition, they have to just do partial to know just the eyes. So they were setting it up for partial facial recognition. Okay. So here it is, Tesco, Aldi, and some other places. So they're using facial fingerprints at the checkout. Now, I firmly believe, in my honest opinion, that we made it all wear masks. Fauci's already come out, which I'm going to do a video about Fauci. Wait for that one. Okay, under psychic bananas. He's already come out saying that he was he was virtually lying when he said that masks were mandatory. He knew they did zip. So why did they want us all wearing masks? And my honest opinion is that they were setting all this up now facial recognition for payment systems under the one payment system that we've got coming. Okay, so here's an ad that I got on one of my game sites. I play Yuka, I play Backgammon, I play Solitaire at night on my phone. And this was one of the ads that popped up. Westpac here, this big red W, that's for Westpac Bank. Pay safe with your face. Now, to me, this is the biggest scam on the planet. What happens if I'm in a car accident and my face changes? What if I go and get a nose job or put in contact lenses? Is this going to change so then I can't, if I'm out at a party wearing my contact lenses and my fake eyelashes and my big puffy lips because I've just had um, 
lip implants, is this then going to change how my face is recognized so I can't get home that night in a Uber? So this is the situation that this is all having, right? I could easily change my face just by makeup, okay? So this is what they're now doing, face ID. Oh, my God. Now, this came up. I turned on my computer a few days ago, and this came up. So this is my screen when I turn on my computer to watch Netflix, right? Write a short essay that analyzes the merits or the good things, the good reasons of universal basic income. What the hell is this about? Universal basic income. So I believe, in my own opinion, that my TV, because this is my computer screen, my other one in the lounge room, actually it's my daughter's school computer, to tell you the truth, but I believe that they're conditioning us psychically, yes, 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 she's telling me, yes, they are, psych they are conditioning us to get us used to a universal basic income. And that's why it comes up on their screens, okay? And the last one here, this is over in Japan, I think. I don't, I don't speak this language. No disrespect to wherever this is. But the story that goes with this, under your social credit system, if you go less than 550, you can't put petrol in your tank. What? That's right. So if you go out and get a speeding ticket, your social credit goes down. So that's going to be one of my um, Psychic Banana videos, social credit system. How do we get points and how do we lose our points? Because imagine you're down to zero battery, you're out in the middle of nowhere, you come across this where you want to charge your phone to get home on a Friday night, you can't charge your phone because, hello, you haven't got a good social credit system. Good luck getting an Uber because they will probably already have your details in the car when they pull you over to get you in. They'll already know your social credit system. So that's why it's so bad. Now, one thing I am going to show you here, this is a video straight off my YouTube. Okay, this is off YouTube. Let's start this. This guy buys a drink. He's at somewhere like a 7-Eleven seven, seven by the looks of it. He goes up to the cash register and look at this thing on the counter. Guess what this is? Oh look, he's got a he's got a chip in his wrist. Okay, we've got to watch this one again so you see it. He gets his drink, he buys a Coke, he's going up to the checkout, and there it is, palm print identification. Already in use in China. I don't know about you guys. I don't want a chip in my hand, personally. I don't want to know that my credit score is based on my behavior and based on criminal history, domestic violence, speeding offenses, traffic offenses, like car registration stuff. I believe that money should not be valued on how we act or behave at a, as a citizen. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. That's just my opinion. So comment below. Heads up. Give me a like if you like this. Share this information with your friends. We need this out there, right? Um, let me know if you like Psychic Bananas, and I'll do one of these videos every week. Let you have little drops of what's coming out there. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay in love, and most of all, trust your gut on what's going on. Love yous all. Talk to yous all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.